Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there on YouTube land watching Georgia Beer Reviews. Back at you today with another one. And what I am looking at is a beer from Monday Night Brewing Company out of Atlanta, Georgia. This is the Slushy Fund. It is a cherry lime goza. Comes in at 5% alcohol by volume. The IBUs are not disclosed. It says on the label, ale brewed with cherry puree flavored with lime zest. Sounds right up my alley. I love gozas. I love sours. I love cherry limeades. So I think I'm really going to enjoy this beer. Let's hope it's as good as advertised. All right. There's your pour. It's a nice... Um, pinkish golden color. The camera's not picking up on it, I don't believe, but it does have a little bit of a pink hue to it, um, but it is golden as well. Uh, very clear, some nice streaming bubbles going up the glass. It poured with about a two-finger head. White, creamy. Looks very good. The aroma. Mm. Definitely getting the cherry and the lime zest. It actually almost smells a little bit like key lime pie, which is interesting. The cherry is definitely there as well, but it's got a key lime pie type aroma in the background from that lime zest. It smells really good, very clean. A little bit of breadiness as well on the aroma. It smells really good, so without further ado, let's get into the sprue. Cheers, guys. Mmm. Nice and tart. Mouth puckering. Um, you're getting the cherry. You're getting the lime zest. In the middle of the sip, you're getting a really, really nice breadiness. Almost a little bit of like a graham cracker note. Very light body, very crisp, clean, refreshing. The carbonation is medium. Um, very enjoyable, guys. If you're into gozas, if you like sour beers, you would definitely like this one. There's a little bit of a saltiness on the finish as well, which you get in gozas. They add uh, salt to gozas, so it kind of balances out the maltiness, the sweetness that you're getting from the cherry. Uh, the acidity from the lime and the saltiness on the finish kind of just, I mean, that's a triple threat right there. Very nicely balanced. Um, mm. I am really digging this, guys. And I like the fact that it's 5%. I'm tired of these gozas that are 3.8 to 4.2%. I mean, come on. It's not... Unless you're doing a light goes and you want to market it as a light beer, at least 4.8%, but 5% for a Goza, I think that's that's perfect. Um, I mean, I want to know that I'm drinking a beer, for goodness sake. So, anyway, uh, very, very exceptional, uh, exceptional Goza from Monday Night Brewing. Uh, <laughs> First beer of the day, guys. Can't even talk. Um, Monday Night Brewing Company out of Atlanta, Georgia. Very, very good stuff. I'm going to go with a 96 out of 100. I think it is most excellent. Mm. It's got everything you want. It's got that tartness. It's got that nice breadiness and that graham cracker note in the middle of the sip. You're getting that key lime pie type thing from the lime zest. It's light, it's crisp, it's clean, it's refreshing. It's a little bit salty on the finish to balance it out. Uh, no bitterness with this one. Gozas are not bitter beers, so you're not getting any of that. If you're looking for a hoppy beer, look elsewhere. But for what this is, a Goza, uh, it's exceptional. 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 I'm making up my own words tonight, guys. Exceptional. 96 out of 100 if you live in the state of Georgia or any area where Monday night brewing beers are sold. Definitely check this one out. I believe it was $11.99 for the four-pack of 16-ounce cans. 
not the cheapest craft beer I've had, but it's worth it, guys. It's excellent. Um, I would highly recommend it if you can find it. Like the label art as well. Got the bow tie with the uh, cherry on it and the slushy dripping off of it there. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. And the bow tie goes around the, the whole can there. Anyway, 96 out of 100. That'll do it for this beer review, guys. Hope you're all having a great day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.